All right, back to the Pandarian starting zone. Uh, some of you guys complained that you didn't like my videos all chopped up, so I'm not going to chop up anymore um, unless my son comes up to me and asks me a question because you guys won't need to hear him. Uh, my initial concern with doing that kind of stuff was the 15 minute upload limit on YouTube, but I uh, verified my account so I don't have to worry about that anymore. So we are going to watch me try some of this stuff full without any cuts. This looks like some kind of jump game. Unfortunately, what you're also going to be missing is I usually cut out the dead silence when I don't think anything interesting or witty to say about what I'm doing. So, some of you just have to deal with that. Okay. Clearly, you can jump from one to one, but the distance on some of these is pretty far. It's obviously a puzzle question is just where do I start? And even better, how do I get off if I decide to do so? Because it's not come up as like part of a vehicle. I better not be stuck. I guess I can jump to that one. There we go. It seems if you try to mouse up high you're not going to be able to push them as clearly. I'm hoping to get to level 10 tonight so I can be turned into a frog. It's the same kind of thing that turned me into a skunk when I went to that one NPC spot. Like I said, I'll try to get to level 10 so I can start looking at what the healing looks like for this class. It does not appear I can re-attack him. Yeah, I've already defeated this guy, so I can't really attack them. That was not a very good animation. I just kind of floated through the air. These are a little hard to click. <sighs> Four. Why am I not building Chi? Seems like I can only jump every other one, which is strange. Okay, that makes sense. I'm using my shadow attack too much, which can serve my tiger palm, which is consuming my chi. Instead of. Can I get out here? It's a long ways to jump. So this is like those. Well, I jumped one closer. Seems a little wonky. Where I can and can't jump. You just have to click low on the totem, you can't. Hit detection is obviously not on the top. Okay. Oh, that takes care of that. How do I escape? There we go. Didn't want to let me do that earlier. So. And I can loot as a frog. I dare say you move faster than you would as normal. It's about to ask if somebody can manage to die out here from NPCs that probably won't kill you. Like to all the pieces. Oh, well, that's fun. The cranes will attack you when you're a frog. I suppose it's some to make this slightly dangerous. Where's the training bell? I need to ring. Close by. Someone did manage to die. Uh, probably because I got attacked by a crane. Okay. I have to use the jumping puzzle to get where I'm going. Jump. Well, that's not very hard now, is it? Bring the pole. That crane is still trying to attack me. It's a bit of an asshole. Oh, that was a nice steep incline. It's kind of bad landscaping there. 
So, going back to Asha Cloudsinger and turn some of this stuff in. Although it says to talk to her, but instead, this is just a turn in one to Jojo Iron Brow. <clears throat> and she is still down here. I bet you this water turns me into a skunk again. If all the water on the island turns you into animals, how do they drink? Not die of starvation. Gotta be a belt. So yeah, stay in this quest hub area. Old Man Lang. Or Liang. This will turn me into something different. Apparently not, because she's still normal. Level 6. I have made all the normal pets that you get. Oh, that was a well timed roll. Tifo's Panda. Finding an old friend. Young monk. Retrieve a sun pearl. And learn. This. Is it the sting of learning? He's now. Alright. I would probably guess that water pincers are crabs. And I would be wrong. They look like giant water flies. That's cool. They're very Asian and very all killed by everybody else already. The zone seems to have thinned out some, which is nice. Didn't switch really good. Come back here, you. So I'm really curious how the energy system is going to work for the healing. Is it going to feel more like playing a holy paladin? Or is it going to just be completely different? We'll find out in about four levels. Bug, bug, bug. Why don't they have glowing antennae and body? Their texture looks kind of crappy too. They look washed out. Like uh, lighting's not quite really applying to them. But it might be. That might be the final texture on it. This might be how they want it to look. I'd give it a little more organic look to blend in with the pawn a little better, but not camouflaged. <coughs> it's just so white against the backdrop, it's stark. you in the face. There we go. And Sun Pearl appears to be down in this next pool. Where oh, there's more cranes. Ooh, there's a stingray. Watch out Steve Irwin. Is it too soon? And there's a stingray in my game, Bubby. Yeah, hold on, I gotta kill this giant snake. Because he's blocking the stingray? No, because he's blocking this giant clam that Daddy needs to loot. You see the stingray right here? Yeah. Should Daddy fight the stingray? Sure, because he might get me. Yeah, it might get me. Alright. You've seen the stingray. Please go on. Buddy. I'm not going to fight any more Stingray. I didn't need to fight anymore. And uh, for whatever reason, I didn't get the loot. Feng Shi. Get out of here. I killed it. I don't know why I did not loot. Probably because I was too busy talking to my son about the awesome Stingrays. Big Poe. People come up with the shittiest names. I don't even know how to begin to pronounce that. It would appear our NPC has teleported to a new location with Asha again and the Tea Master. I have to check that out. See if he sells specialized tea that's new to the game. Got another vest. 
Interesting. Coax them into a game. Wonder what that's going to involve. And this is just basic. <laughs> For a class that doesn't require mana, I hear some mana drinks. I guess that the other people that are going to play like healers and stuff. It's a little. Ho! Oh! What? In... Uh, these people are doing something interesting. Gotta get to a water spout. <laughs> this guy's got the right idea. Just stand on it. Where are we supposed to go from here? Coax them to drop in the center of the polar collection to coax them out. Okay. I should have just been doing that instead of playing with water spouts. Even though they're fun. I gotta get into five. Not gonna make that one or that one. Or that one. Somebody complained that I keyboard turn, which is true. I just the mouse moves too fast when I mouse walk. I know it makes it obvious that I'm a casual player, but I have been for quite a while now since my son was born and I stopped worrying about uber important things like min maxing my gear and keyboard turning. They have their value. You do turn faster when you use your mouse, but you know, in basic PvE play and the questioning I do, it's not really an issue. Why did I go underwater? Must have temporarily lost my always oh, cute. And he's having a fun time shooting people in the air. Yeah, come here, I'll show you. Is that guy cute looking? Yeah. Yeah, he's a water spirit. Alright, go back to playing with your Blado Hot Rod. <laughs> what shapes are you making? Okay. You guys are just going to have to deal with it. I, part of the reason I quit hardcore rating is because I was a father and I just didn't feel like I was paying enough attention to my son. So, if you don't like listening to me, occasionally talk to my son. It's just going to be the way it is. Looks like we're moving on to the next quest hub. And here we go. <laughs> nice hat. It's textureless, but that means that the model's not done yet. It's just a placeholder. They could reasonably put, you know, a worse version helm in there or something for her to wear. So that way you wouldn't see that effect. Ooh. I want to ride one of these. You oh, he's gonna take me there. Must be closer. Well, if we're gonna do this, there we go. Clarity is the literal. Uh, this whole role issue is gonna become a big imbalance in PvP. Somebody needs to test the distance it covers compared to blink and charge, because you could do it twice in a row. I really think that it should drop the flag if you do it, but then again, charge and blink don't drop the flag, so it's a toss-up, whereas rogue stealth will drop the flag, or druid stealth will. Enjoy the pretty scenery as we go along of bamboo trees and reused flower textures. Dallow Farmer. Dilo. This is much nicer than having to run the whole way there. It looks like it'll be an interesting place when I get there. And there's a brewery. Get my first taste of Pandarian beer. Are they supposed to be training or farming? Or considering fighting that kite? Those are the biggest carrots I've ever seen. This would be a f bigger version of our buddy. My favorite one. Oh, it might be the daddy one. Yeah, it might be the daddy one, buddy. All right, go back to playing with the Play-Doh, please. <laughs> the head farmer. Oh, we're gonna pick some. No, we're not picking crops. We're going out to fight for them. Plump vermigig slain. Verming. Probably is the right way to say that. 
Let's see what they look like. Like I'm kind of catching back up with people. There's a dead one, whatever it is. Oh my! It's like a giant rabbit murloc. And it's creepy looking. Don't know how much I care for that. Hmm. I wonder how I'm supposed to get back these stolen goods so they drop off of them. I am not using my cheat nearly enough, it just stockpiles. That looks like stolen stuff up there. Oh, how are you not dead? You giant ugly rabbit fucker. Oh, they can talk. How creepy. Someone ran up and stole that. Stolen good. That's oxymoron, I suppose. I had no more right to it than I did, but I was clearly clearing towards it. They grow the biggest goddamn vegetables in the history of, of anything. Neither the Horde of the Alliance will ever starve if they can harness this giant turnip technology. Although turnips taste terrible, I would stay away from the turnips and go with carrots and the pumpkins. Trying to use my chi points more often. That'll be the efficient way. These pumpkins don't look ripe in the least. For those of you who don't know, green pumpkins are bad. Not ready. Carrot breath. I should let him do that attack so we could have seen it. Flynn starts casting it, and we'll start at top attacking him. Tiger strikes proc increases my auto attack speed. It's nice. Okay, now it's back to trying to find pumpkins. Don't see any sparklies anywhere. I see two pandas protecting a cart and a lot of dead rabbits. Let's see if there's any carrots. This would appear to be the, their burrow. I can get stolen goods from just going in here, so I think I'm going to do that. Carrot Cruncher. I'm still going to have to chop these videos up a little, watching 45 minutes of long play without a break is going to be kind of lame. I like that they've uh, done a new cave design here. Traditionally they've used the same model set over and over. They've got about three model sets for underground in the previous expansions that they pretty much reused. So it's nice to see them expanding that. wonder if I can get other stolen items down here. Oh, mother of God. That is the biggest carrot I've ever seen. Why do they need to steal more food? They've got this thing. It's like the queen carrot. I proclaim this queen carrot is mine. No one else can have it. Oh, and let's zoom in here. This is a good look at the new belt system. Uh, previously your belts were just a flat texture for the most part on the costume, but now they've started actually what you would consider poly modeling them so they can be seen kind of sticking off the body, having some kind of attachments to them like skulls or in my panda's case a giant medallion. Yeah, the spinning crane kick seems to be broken. A lot of people are complaining that it's not working. 
pumpkins. Oh, what, is there another hole over here? No, they're on the ground in massive quantity. This won't take long. Okay, you're going to those. I'm going to go to another place and be a nice person. Don't come over here stealing mine afterwards. It's called common courtesy. According to people, the reason that the spinning crane kick isn't working is it doesn't bug that we're getting it this early instead of at 40 when we're supposed to get it. I have yet to use this stun. Let's see what it looks like. Ah, put somebody to sleep. Run away. Or roll away. I wonder without mana if healer pandas aren't going to have to focus on stamina. That's, well, not stamina, that's a dumbass thing to say, but I mean spirit. Because it won't really affect your region traditionally. That would be an interesting change if it does. New pants look pretty nice. Turtley. Nothing for this. I leveled up in the process, but it means we've reached level 7. Moving on to the brewery next, which will. No, it's another quest here. Tell me I didn't miss another quest all along. Jojo Iron Bro wants me to gather wooden planks down by the brewery. Okay. So the brewery is not a quest hub in terms of getting quests, it's just a quest hub in terms of doing quests. My PvP is still disabled. My dungeon finder will be disabled to level 15. There's my game menu. Achievements aren't turned on right now. Maybe because I don't have a faction yet. It is a big angry bunny. Wow, the breweries look nice. How you get to these kegs is interesting. I like the water wheel. It's got a nice animation. Sorry, you were looting that. It's got a nice animation to it. While I wait for this bunny to respawn, we'll take a good look at that. Looks like some kind of error. It could be intentional, but it's <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm waiting here for my health. I guess I can't expect. Too much politeness out of random strangers. Otherwise, it wouldn't be World of Warcraft. Waiting for you to respawn. The spawn rate is not going up like it should compared to the amount of people in the area. I'm not really singing a very good song. Alright, well, it despawned. Ah, you are an evil man. Evil. Oh, that's what you get. Yeah. There's one giant red. Yeah, that's one giant dead robot, buddy. Back to town. Didn't notice that kind of looks like a giant water tower or beer tower, depending on who you ask. It's kind of cool. I'll try to look at the terrain and scenery as I run from place to place so you guys can get a better look at stuff other than the back of my panda. There's another broken hat. What is she wearing that's doing that? No, hold still. Oh, that is odd. Her BOA is not loading. New shoes. New level of rep. Dong. Oh, it wakes up the sleeping. Wanu. No, Wugoi. Okay. 
terrible with Asian names. Okay, that did not seem to wake the daddy water spirit. We've got a little phase going on. Oh, are we going to break boards? Oh, are you going to snap to your T-pose like everybody else? It's not a child, it's a shrunken model. That is the most... Wow. They don't look like children in the least. Like, these aren't children. These are dwarf pandas. I'm sure children models will be made eventually, but... Not necessarily ready. I have to go talk to somebody about helping me wake up this guy.